Hello everyone, we're about 40 minutes away from tip-off between Quinnipiac University and South Dakota State in the first round of the NCAA tournament. My name is Josh Silverman, happy to be here with Shane Dan. Hey Shane, how you doing? I'm doing pretty, I'm doing pretty good, you know, Jim Beheim court, Carmelo Anthony's jersey's hanging over there, it's pretty exciting here in the Carrier Dome. We're very happy to be here now, Shane. South Dakota State comes into the game averaging 80 points per game on the season, led by senior guard Mason Miller. How does Quinnipiac stop them today? Yeah, and then when South Dakota State was in in practice yesterday, Trish Fabry was coming on and was talking to her, telling him, go easy on us today. And uh, so it's going to be a tough one for Quinnipiac, you know, but, you know, this is what they do. You know, they put Aaron McClure on their best, the other team's best opposing player, and they shut her down. So hopefully Aaron McClure can be able to contain them. But like they said, it's team defense. They got to communicate. They got to talk. And Quinnipiac is so good at that. So I think... It'll be a tough one for them, but I think they're up for the assignment. And Quinnipiac is here for a reason. They are the 11 seed. South Dakota State is the 6 seed, but Quinnipiac is still here. Shane, how do they keep up with South Dakota State on offense? What Quinnipiac always does is they start with their defense. Their defense drives everything that they do. They tend to get it off to slow starts this season, and that can't happen here today, and their defense keeps them engaged. So if their defense keeps them engaged, and Aaron McClure, Jen Fay, and Paul Estramini always seem to rise to the occasion when it matters most, and I expect them to do the same as they've done in previous NCAA tournaments to keep up. And so who gets a win today? i got to go with Quinnipiac in this one. I just think they're so relaxed, and just, you know, they're just... They're just so comfortable in this. They have so much experience, so I expect them to get the job done. I agree with Shane. I think Quinnipiac gets a victory as well. Make sure you follow all of our coverage at www.q30tv.com. Follow us on Twitter at Q30 Sports. For Shane Danahy, I'm Josh Silverman. We'll catch you after the game.